According to data from the American Medical Association, 9% of the population is left-handed. If four people are randomly selected, find each probability. We're told to round the answers to four decimal places. To begin, we need to recognize that we have a binomial probability distribution, and because four people are being selected at random, and the number of trials is four, and because 9% of the population is left-handed, P, the probability of success is equal to 9%, which is equal to 0 0.09 as a decimal. And now we will find the probabilities using Desmos.com. The first probability is the probability that none are left-handed. This is the probability that x is equal to 0. Let's go to Desmos.com and graph the binomial probability distribution. Go to Desmos.com, click Graphing Calculator. Next, click Show Keypad in the lower left-hand corner. Click Functions, click the Distributions tab, then click Binomial Distribution. And now we need to enter Trials, comma, Success Probability, which is N, comma, K, which in our case is 4, comma, 0 0.09. Let's click the Zoom Fit button, which is the magnifying glass here on the left. And on the right, we now have a graph of the probability distribution. Again, our first goal is to determine the probability x is equal to zero, or zero of the people are left-handed. We can do this two ways. We can simply click on the point where x equals zero, which is this point here. The second value in the ordered pair gives us the approximate probability of 0 0.6857. Another option would be to click on the Find cumulative probability box here, and then change the min and max values both to zero. If we do this, and then close the Desmos keypad, notice how it draws a vertical line segment at x equals zero, and also shows the probability at the bottom of cell one. Let's go ahead and record this probability, 0 0.6857. Next, we're asked to find the probability that two are left-handed, which is the probability that x is equal to two. Let's go back to Desmos. We can click on the point where x equals two, and the second value is the probability we're looking for, which is approximately 0 0.0402, or we can change the min and max values in cell one to two, which gives us a probability at the bottom of cell one and also draws a vertical line segment where x equals two. Either way, the probability is approximately 0 0.0402. And for our last probability, we want the probability at most three are left-handed, which would be the probability that x is less than or equal to three. At most three are left-handed means zero, one, two, or three people would be left-handed. Going back to Desmos, we could click on the points where x equals at 0, 1, 2, and 3, and then sum the probabilities, or we can simply go back to cell 1, change the minimum value to 0, tab the maximum value to 3, and the probability shows at the bottom of cell 1, which is the sum of the four probabilities, which we see here if we click on the four points. To four decimal places, we have approximately 0 0.9999. So Desmos is a nice way to determine binomial probabilities because we also get to see a graph of the distribution. I hope you found this helpful.